So yesterday's question of the day dealt with calcium regulation. States, a lady in her 70s comes into your office and she's feeling tired, fatigued, a series of exams, let's see, relevant information. Let's look at bone mineral density. It's at negative 2.3 penia. That has to do with a low level of bone density because the normal is negative uh, 0.1 or higher and she's much lower than that. So basically we're saying here weak bones. Which of the following would explain her condition? So we get into here, we have a couple choices. We have choices between hyper and hypothyroidism. And then we also have PTH, calcitonin. And then we talk about blast versus class. So let's look at that quickly. This is how I think about it. I draw uh, just a line right here. And I say this is the blood. You could call it also the extracellular fluid. And then my amazing design, I just draw a dog bone, and this represents bone. Then I draw two arrows, one arrow going this way, one arrow going the other way. We have two types of cells for bone. They are the blasts and the clasts. Right? And if it's bone, what's at the beginning of it? Osteo for bone and osteo here for bone. How do I remember what does what? C, I say C for crush, and I take B, and I remember B for build. So osteoblast build and osteoclast crush. Of course, not literally crush, but basically they're going to mineralize. They're going to take pieces out of it. What's the name when you take pieces out of it? That's called resorption. It's kind of like you're reabsorbing. You're resorbing it from here, and you're taking it apart, and you're dumping it here into the blood to increase the calcium levels in the blood. Over here, you're removing it, you're taking it out. So you're going to end up with low calcium levels and it's going to put onto here and to build it up. So then how do I remember the hormones? Well, I say for here, calcitonin. Tonin, I've taken this, I've seen this pretty common. Tones down blood calcium level. Some people say, what about tone up? Well, you don't sell somebody tone up the TV. You say, can you tone that volume down a little bit? So tone down. So what's going to tone down or decrease the blood calcium level here, because we're measuring the blood, is calcitonin. So it's going to bring it down. So if it's lowering it from here, then it's going to dump it, and it's going to build it up here to make the bone stronger. So now let's go back and look at the question. So she's getting weak bones, right? So if we draw the bone out here, let's do this on the test. It's weak, so we're getting pieces taken out. It's getting crushed, so we know clasts are involved. So anywhere we see blast, we can cross that off. Gone, gone, gone. And um, I forgot to mention the hormone down there, but the hormone that's doing that, that's going to be parathyroid hormone. So anything with calcitonin, we can get rid of, get rid of that. It leaves us with two choices, one right here and one right here. And obviously, where does parathyroid hormone come from? It comes from the parathyroid gland, not from the thyroid gland. So the answer was choice B. Thank you. I hope this helped. If you have more questions, you can go to my website, www.profroofs.com, to see the question of the day. And I just got a Twitter account, and it is at Prof Roofs. Take care.